doing? How's your mama doing? How's your mama doing? Now, uh, uh, I thought I'd do this video because one thing is that came to mind because I remember I, I put this, uh, posted the status up in February and I know I must have put it in the video uh, sometime in February and it kind of got to me and I was looking around on my profile today and I kind of ran across and it kind of got me and I was like okay and I wrote this back in February it says are women free and independent to me no if a woman says I'm independent I'm an independent woman how can you be independent how can you be an independent woman if you got to answer to your man if you're going to be an independent woman be one and not be scared of your man getting mad at you for who you who who your friends are who are your friends who your friend who are your friends okay with who who are your friends with am I bad keep messing up who are you friends with who you talking to and what you do because if you let your man scare you scare you and worry if you're going to piss him off then you ain't no independent you ain't no woman you ain't free you ain't no independent woman uh yeah um, and I meant to say, in my eyes, in my eyes, an independent woman is a woman who is free, who is free, and not scared of pissing off her man, and does what she wants, and talks to whoever she wants to. So, ladies, if you want to be a sex slave or a damn slave, then go right ahead, because no one will free you. Why should anyone free you? Do you want to let your man rule over you? If you if you can fight for your kids, then you can fight for your freedom and your independence. My mother and my sister is more independent than half the women I know. But don't be scared of your man. If you if you want your independence, stop being a slave to your man. Cause to him, you ain't nothing but a piece of ass and a cook and a maid. And this is coming from a man. And if you still going to let him run over you, then you be a slave for the rest of your life. And I will always see you as a slave. Cause you let slash make you a slave. Be a woman not a slave Rosa Park Rosa Park is not a slave neither is Harriet Tubman two independent women two independent women that didn't let no man run over them and they made history for women if you dislike what I have to say then you are a slave you are not free or have your independence because I say this I say this, the reason why I say this, I put that in the status is because I've sat here and I always watch women do the same thing every damn day. I don't have, if I was, if, if I got an old lady, I wouldn't have a fucking problem with her having friends with me being friends with me I wouldn't have a problem with her talking to her friends it just I have a problem with women who allow their spouse to run over them that's what's fucking with me it's like that's what's fucking with me is where people like, cause, cause one thing is, every time I see a woman and I make friends with her, the first thing they say, "Oh, I can't talk to you that long, cause my man will get mad at me," or, "Oh, we can be friends, but I got a man now, I can't." Uh, and I'm sitting up there thinking, I said, "Hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up." So you telling me that you let your man control your life because you don't want to piss him off because of who you talking to? I said, there's a thin line between love and hate. And there's a thin line between your freedom and an ass whooping. Which is more important, that ass whooping or your freedom? I think that freedom is more important than catching an ass whooping from your man. Uh, and, and, 
because because one thing is I say this, I see both sides of everything. I see both sides of every story. Like I understand that the uh, that a man doesn't want his old lady, his spouse to his spouse to be talking to anybody like that. Talk to be talking to somebody, some dude, and all like that. But it's like this though. But it's like this though. This is 2000, 2012, and that shit still goes on today. Why? Because one thing in my mind is like, why would any woman allow a man to sit there to control his life? Why would any woman let a man control her life? Why would any woman sit up there and Oh, I, oh, I don't want to piss him out. I don't want to Look, man, if you're going to be a woman, be a fucking woman. Don't allow no punk ass man control your life because one thing is because you want a little bit of freedom and you got friends. I got friends with men and women, gay, straight, black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese. I don't give a damn. It just, it gets on my motherfucking nerves on how people, how women will sit there and let her man control her. Control her by telling them who the hell they can talk to, who the hell they can't talk to, who the hell they can be friends with, who the hell they can't be friends with. Like if your man or your spouse met your friends, maybe he can come up with something. Maybe he can sit there and say, you know what, man, she got kick-ass friends. I, I, you know what? I'm going to let it. I was like, you know what? They, she got cool friends. I ain't, I ain't going to worry about nothing. That's how it is. Meet her friends before you jump to conclusion thinking about she needs to, or uh, she can't talk to him because she he's a man. Oh, her, her friends fell in her head full of bullshit. So when you control your woman, man, to me, it's telling me that your mama didn't raise you right. Your mama didn't titty feed you right. Cause I could, cause when I say it like this, man, my my like I said in the status is that my mother and my sister are independent. Harriet Tubman, Harriet fucking Tubman was an independent woman. This woman put her life out there on the line. Out there on the line. Just for freedom. Just for freedom. And then you look at Rosa Park. Was tired. Set her ass in front of the bus. And she went through hell and back. And people, but she was still independent. How can two women in history be the most famous women on this earth for having independence? But a woman today don't even have that. Hillary Clinton's got more fucking independence than the bitches today. Oh, you call this, you call women bitches. I'm going to call the one that's, punk, that's being a punk ass and letting a man control her life. Yeah. You don't deserve my respect when you let a man control your life. Oh, you don't do that. I punch you in your face. Oh, you don't do that. I kick your ass. Let me tell you something. I knew, some, I knew a person. And I never thought, I'd never get this out of my head. And I thought, man, in the world, I was like, man, why did they let this person do this? person met this uh this person was young 15 years old didn't know what the fuck she was doing went down to another state to meet somebody just met some dude over in there and I told her relatives this a look cause I found out about through her relatives and her relatives said oh she she's going down to Texas 
I said, look, I want to let this girl go down there. She underage, and this girl don't know this dude. How long has she been knowing this dude? She said, a week, a week. The girl goes down there, man. I, I, before, and I told her, the girl's relative, I said, look, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm 18 at the time. I'm seeing this shit. Ain't no 18 year olds supposed to be thinking this way, but I was. And I told the relatives, I said, look, that girl don't know who that guy is. That girl don't know that guy from a new can of fresh paint. I said, y'all go let her go down there. I said, that, girl, that guy can rape her, kill her, whatever, give her a fucking STD. And y'all letting her go. She goes, I said, I bet you when she come back, she either going to have, be pregnant. She going to. She be pregnant, be dead, or she gonna have kids bouncing off of her. Later on, I find out a few months later she was pregnant. She was married to this guy down in Texas. Dude was 23 years old. 23 years old. Now, I'm, this is back in 03. 03, back in 03. This girl thought she had independence. She didn't have independence. She was younger now. The girl was pregnant, married. And the guy was beating her ass every day. When that shit got back to me, when I found out about this shit, man, that shit hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was more mad at the motherfucker. I was more mad at the guy than I was at the girl. I was more mad because this guy married a minor, got her pregnant, and was beating her ass. And I sat there and I looked and I sat there and I saw this girl come. She was she had her baby. She came back up here and she was with this guy and I, with her husband. Thought the girl's gonna stay up here with the family and take care of and have her somebody to back her up and help her with the kids so she can get her fucking education. Instead of the girl stay up here, she flew back down there with the man. That pissed me off even more. And when she flew back down there, and it really pissed me off. Really got under my fucking skin. Got pregnant again. She got pregnant again. The guy was doing the same thing, pushing ass down the stairs and all this and that. I got wind of it again. It really kept pissing me off. I was pissed off because they allowed this girl, but girl go back down there. She's pregnant again. I was like, why ain't nobody stopping this girl? Why does everybody keep letting this girl go down there beat her ass? And probably sitting up there saying, Afro Joe, why ain't you saying that? Ain't no 15 year old gonna listen to no 18 year old, cause they gonna think, hey, I was crazy out of my fucking mind. But this girl thought she had her independence. She got pregnant, got married, and got abused. She didn't have her fucking freedom. That independence went out the fucking window. Went out the fucking window. When she married that motherfucker, she that shit went out the window, and I was more mad as hell for that for her fucking families for doing that shit. And uh, I tell you this though, man, and I look at it, as, I, I I look back, I kind of kick myself every day. I kind of kick myself every day because. I look back on it, I said, I could have did more than what I could have did. I could have stepped in. I could have talked to the girl. I could have said something. No, I didn't. I sat there and let the, didn't, didn't do nothing but be boo-boo the fucking fool. And as I got older and I learned, as I met more girls, and I sat there and they was in the same predicament where they was with guys that was beating their ass, taking away their independence, their freedom, everything. And they look at me with their head hanging. They look at me all like, looking at me like, I know you disappointed, Joe. I know you disappointed in me. And I was very disappointed because I didn't want no girl. I didn't want to be friends with no girl that was going let some motherfucking dude take her independence away, take away her fucking freedom. Because 
because one thing is I said if I'm there backing you up and giving you all my support and I want you to make something of yourself and I'm telling you man you're a beautifully strong woman any man will be lucky to be with you and I'm there doing my thing keeping it real I ain't let a hand ain't talk shit about you just backing you up man when you need being there when you need me and I'm seeing all these girls get with the wrong guys and they fall so quickly I met another girl in high school, 18, girl, 15 years old, I said, well, probably saying, oh, after Joe, what's up with you when you're 15? I'm like, when you, go, when you live in a small-ass city, man, you're going to, you know, that's how it is. But I wasn't like that back in that day. But I was 18. This girl was in my class. She was 15 years old, and I was always making her laugh and doing the, just make class fun. Just keep cracking jokes and being, being silly and all this shit like I do. Made her smile every day, every day when she came to class. And she saw me, she know her day was lucky because she saw me. Her day was going to be a good day. Now the friend that wanted to get with her so badly, his name was Keith. And he wanted to get with this girl so badly and I made her laugh so much. She didn't want to get with Keith, but she wanted to get with me because I was always being so nice. And uh, she was with this dude, and this dude was talking all to treat her so wrong. Her mom, the guy's mom, even hated this girl, treated her like shit. So the boyfriend was treating her like shit, and the boyfriend's mother was treating the girl like shit. So one day she came comes to class, she's like, Joe, I got something to tell you. I thought it was going to be a wonderful day, come to class, make a laugh. That class go by quickly. No time flies when you're having fun. And she told me something that really struck me because cause she told me a story and I really didn't like to do whatsoever. He never walked up on me because he didn't like Because one thing is he didn't want to step to me wrong because I'm big as I am and I can bench press this little motherfucker and toss his ass across the fucking room. And plus, if he would have said, because plus I was sitting on the side of the cafeteria where there was a bunch of black folks, and all, if he would have said the end where he would have got fucked up on the spot, but he wasn't, he must, he was stupid, but he wasn't that stupid. And, uh, now, now he knew, well, not the whole the end where thing, but he was, you know, I intimidated him because I was so big and shit. And so she told me one day, that day, when she came to class, I thought, okay, everything's going to be a good day. I'm going to make a laugh. Let time go by fast. She looks at me. She looks so upset. And she looks at me like, I know you're going to be very disappointed in me, Joe. That look. And she tells me, she Joe, I'm pregnant. I said, by who? She tells me this mother, the, her fucking boyfriend. I was her, man. I was very fucked up. And she said, please don't be mad at me. And I said, you know what? I can't be mad at you. She was upset because she thought I was going to be mad at her. I wasn't mad at her. I was mad at him. He made her feel weak. And I was giving her strength back because I wanted her to be somebody. And this guy was taking all that shit away from her. Calling her a bitch hoes. And it fucked me up so fucking bad because that was my friend I was watching out for. Me and my friend was watching. Hey, my friend got nervous. My friend Keith was telling, leave that motherfucker. I'll take care of you, man. Get with me. I'll take care of you. Fuck that motherfucker. I can whip his ass and all this and that. And I was telling her the same thing. I was like, no, you need to leave that motherfucker. I was saying the same thing. I said, you need to leave the motherfucker. She never did. So a few months go by and she told, one day she tells me, she's like, a few months pregnant. She tells me in my ear. She tells me, she's like, Joe, I wish this was your baby. I look back at it and I was like, you know what? I wish it was mine too. At least that baby would have had a chance to have a father that would just do her right. Do that child right because I don't want to do that. Do nothing wrong. After that, man, I graduated from high school and didn't see this girl no more. Just a few years later, man, she had a baby. She broke up with the guy and the guy called child service and the baby was taken away from her. Fucked me up when I found out, but that's how it is, man. It's just people, just these guys taking away these women's independence. 
I hated that. I always hated that. I hated when men would sit there and take away these women's independence. And they always wonder, you always, and, and I sit there and I look at it, it's like, I look at it, it's like, I look at it as like this, man. It's like, I'm backing you up and I'm showing you all this respect. Just don't lose it. But when you get in these predicaments where you date this God that's going to treat you like shit and it makes me question what is the fuck you doing with this Get with this girl. They, the girls get with these guys, and they say, "I love him. I love him. I love him." I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. I said, "What the fuck, love got to do with it? the Tina Turner shit? What love got to do with it?" And what? And I, I and 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 I'm sitting up there, man, just stressing about it, man. I think about this girl every day. I think about both of these girls every day. They up in their 20s now. I know they up in their 20s. Well, they was three years younger than me, but... They was like, probably like 23, 24 right now. And I think about it, I said, man, what if things would have changed if I would have stepped up? If things would have changed, if, things, if I really would have stepped in and really did my thing and maybe these girls went never went through the shit that they, they went through and I question that and the mate and people and if people some people and I do some of these videos where And uh, I think about it, I say, like, think about it, it's like, man, only if I would've did something, only if I would've made it where, hooked them up and sit there and made a chance for, made, hook, did something right so they can have a chance to live a life where they don't have to go through this. Instead of me being... But uh, I was saying, hold on, I was saying, what was it? I was saying that uh, I, I just, it just, it's just thinking about it making me miss a train of thought. Just thinking about the incidents. Just thinking about it making me think. Like, oh, like it's been so long. And these girls been through so much, it's like, I was like, and I look around, I say, like, ain't nobody helping but me. Yeah, oh, now I remember. Like, I did the two, uh, the video about abuse, about women getting abused and men getting abused. I was like, I do these videos and just, to, and people, people might be looking at me and say, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I said, like, it's the fuck I do. I see these women getting beaten and getting treated like shit every day. Same with me. And it pissed me off that that these that it pisses me off that women still get in these damn relationships where they let these fuckers take away their independence and take away their freedom just because they love the abuse you can't roll up on me and say I'm an independent woman but you let your man control your life you letting your man tell you who to talk to who to hang with who to, to, to be your friend and Uh, uh.
I'm sorry about that, but uh, sorry about the things and messages, but you you get what I'm saying? It's like all these like you can't say that you got your independence if you let your life be ruined by a man or a woman. You let like I, I said that I got so many women that are my friends, and then they married and got boyfriends and all like that, and then they tell me, man, like we we can talk and have a conversation can have a conversation and and one thing that comes to mind when oh I got a man I got a man the first thing that comes to my mind is I think I need an, uh, I, I tell them I, I think I need an exit stage left they, they start questioning so why and I tell them I said me and boyfriends don't get along I'm not trying to hit on they like my cool people And one thing about it is, one thing about it is, that about this shit is like, people just don't realize. People just don't realize, man, that. That this shit goes on every day, and these women claim they got this independence. You can't be independent when you worried about pissing off your man on who the fuck you talk to, who the fuck your friends are, and who the fuck you gonna hang with. Because when you let a person control your life. Telling you who to sit with, who to chill with, who not to, who's your friend or not to be friends with, then then you ain't got no life. You a fucking slave. And it pisses me off because it pisses me off because I sit here and I watch these fake ass women claim their independence. You can't be independent if you if you worry about your man getting mad at you. It's a free country, free world. Life might be a bitch, man, but you gotta live through that shit. I saw. I'm gonna tell you, like, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna say it right now in this video to every woman: if you gonna sit there and claim your motherfucking independence. Don't your ass, you better not even let this shit come across your mind. You better not let this shit happen to you. You better not let no mother, your motherfucking spouse roll up on you like it. Oh, you can't chill with this. You better not even let this shit come across your mind. I don't, I don't want to piss my cool. I don't. Look, you're a grown ass woman. When you got out of high school or college or whatever, they made you grown. When you have kids and you can pay a bill, you grown. You don't need no motherfucking body to tell you who to hang with. We are human beings. We make fucking mistakes. And one thing is, it pisses me off to see a woman claim independence when they know that she's on a fucking short leash because of fucking man. Because I just don't get it. I just don't get it with people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe Ten. Like it is, like I said, women quit claiming independence if you so damn scared for your man, so damn scared to piss your man off of who you chill with, who your friends are, and who the fuck you talk to. Quit worrying about it if you worried about that then you don't need to be in a relationship that's all it is if you it, it's all it is to it don't sit up there 
Don't sit up there. And say you're independent. That's all it is, man. If you're gonna be an independent woman, be one. Don't don't sit that bullshit on me. Don't sit there and say you independent, thinking you, man. I just hate that shit. Uh, like I I I really hate that shit when women get their independence but they let it go because they look because they want to fall for that bullshit oh I love him yeah I love, I love this man but you let this man control you but you let this man control you uh, to me I don't want to control no woman a woman has her own fucking decision she can talk to whoever the fuck she wants She can talk to whoever the fuck she want. She can have, she can be friends with whoever she wants. She can talk to whoever she wants. She don't need my motherfucking permission to talk to whoever she wants. If her friends are getting off in her ear telling her that I'm cheating on her, hey, that's her friends. That ain't me. That's all that is to it. That's how you said it. That shit. Like your friends want to tell you whatever, find whatever. They can say whatever to you. What? Hey, at least I know where I'm going. I'm coming home to you every night. I ain't going to nobody else. I'm. I don't need to go nowhere else. I'm coming over here tapping that ass. I don't need to go nowhere else. But you know how it is. Don't sit there and call yourself independent woman if you're scared of talking to somebody, talking to your friends because of your man. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, man. Or should I say woman? Never let a man or your spouse I don't give a fuck saying it goes from it goes from every woman that across the board from a lesbian to bisexual to straight. Married uh, married boyfriend, engaged, whatever. Never let your spouse control your life. Never let your spouse control your life. It gets you nowhere. You're as much of a slave as the black folks was back in history. At least, at least back in history, dumb slaves got a little bit more freedom than what these women get today that allow these men to control their life. But that's how it is, man. This is, this has been Afro Joe. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And like I said, man, I think about two girls that could have had a better life if only somebody else besides me would have stepped in. I won one girl's family. They need to do something about it. But what they told me was she was only 15. I don't give a damn she was 15 she's still a minder how old are you she said 19 well you better speak up another girl got fucked over so badly her damn child got taken away and I always told her leave him two people me and a friend told her to leave him she didn't do it after I graduated from high school she broke up with him and too damn late and got the child taken away from it and I still regret it every fucking day of my life every day just because this girl did not leave because she didn't have her independence and I never want to see a woman go down that road where she gets in a relationship, even a man, even a fucking man gets in that position. I just don't want to see people get in that position where they lose everything. 
and all they are is nothing but all they are is nothing but slave to whoever they with <laughs> and, 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 and I look at this like can anybody say these people if I can go back in time I, if I could I go back in time and, and, and do it all over again and change a lot of shit just to make some. but I can't now like I said man y'all follow me on Twitter Afro Joe the Wookie subscribe to my channel CeeLo Jr. 2 CeeLo Jr. 3 if you know a woman that claims to be independent but you know she's in that fucking fucked up relationship same with the man if you know a man that's in that in the same predicament, predicament don't be a bitch help him out get them out them position. Everybody saw what was it? Family reunion. A fam the Medea uh, what was it? Tyler Perry's movie Family Reunion. When the girl was getting her ass whipped and, she, and it took Medea to Medea to tell her get her ass up, uh, tell her just tell the truth. Don't hide from it. And she finally spoke up. That's what I'm doing. I want y'all to speak up now. If you are in a predicament where there's a man or a woman beating your ass, get out. Get out. Then claim your independence. Don't sit up and oh, I got my independence, but you still let your spouse, your counterpart, tell you what to do. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. Peace, love, and soul, man.